Half a million people are fighting kidney failure in the U.S. Their only hope is a transplant or dialysis to help them live a couple of years longer. News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen has more from Vanderbilt University Medical Center, where a team is testing an artificial kidney. Jewel Brown has lived in Nashville her entire life. Each part of town has been very interesting and different. But instead of exploring what Music City has to offer, Brown has spent 15 hours a week getting dialysis. You're always looking for the goal of getting that kidney or them finding a way you don't have to come and uh, do the dialysis. Half a million Americans are being treated for kidney failure, many of them hoping this treatment will prolong their life five to ten years. So there's only about 20,000 patients a year who receive a kidney transplant. Dr. William Fissell is an associate professor of medicine at Vanderbilt University. He has dedicated his life's work to creating an artificial kidney for patients like Brown. We use the same engineering tools that, for example, people use to design jetliners. The computational fluid dynamics that allows you to predict exactly how much force a fluid will experience as it's moved from, for example, your aorta or another artery through this artificial device. It's a prototype that uses a microchip to tell the body how to dissect certain fluids. These are probably things like the insides of your video camera or the gyroscope in your iPhone. We've taken that technology toolkit and used it to make a miniaturized membrane that's small enough that it can fit inside a patient's body and efficient enough that it doesn't require big bulky pumps to circulate fluid around. <laughs> With patients like Jewel Brown in mind, the research keeps trucking along and Mrs. Brown sincerely hopes that one day this artificial kidney will save lives. So you got to be proactive and it is hard in different ways, but you've got to learn how to manage the things that are hard are not so easy and with the help of your clinic, your family, and of course keeping your spirit up and being strong in your faith. Uh, it's a job, but it can be managed. Reporting in Nashville, Alexander Cohen, News Channel 5. Doctors are planning on testing the artificial kidney in a human pilot program by the end of 2017. Tonight